Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. This crisis crossover is killing me. <laughs> uh, but I had a bit of time left over today, so uh, I said, uh, hey, would you like another video? And most people seem to be responding in various forms of media uh, with news of the Resident Evil 3 stuff. Uh, now, a few days ago, I did a video saying that uh, it's actually been leaked confirmation had been leaked that there is going to be a Resident Evil 3 remake. We don't know exactly when it's going to come out and all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, um, a couple of cocky people who were incorrect, uh, by the way, said, oh, they confirmed it months and months ago. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. When they were questioned on whether or not there would be a Resident Evil 3 remake, they said, well, we're going to have a look. We'll have a look based off the success of number two. If the number two is successful, then it would seem to be a logical move. That, so that was the kind of response, but there was no confirmation. Now, we know that Resident Evil 2 Remake has sold very well. 4.7 million copies since it came out, which is uh, awesome. I mean, Capcom are over the moon with that response. What we didn't know is they were clearly working on this either alongside Resident Evil 2, or as soon as they finished it and were polishing it, they literally just jumped straight to number three, because a few days ago, of course, it was definitely confirmed. Today, we get even better news, because not only do they drop a trailer, now we thought there was a, a trailer that was going to be dropped at the Game Awards, that was the rumour. You know, the industry awards where they suck each other off. Uh, but uh, we just thought that was going to be trailer and maybe coming winter 2020, you know, coming sometime. But we got a trailer today and a release date today. Uh, so let's go through the uh, trailer. It starts off actually going through Resident Evil 2. So the time codes are Resident Evil 2 time codes. What was happening when... And it's important because Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 happen at the same time. They just involve different people being in different places. Uh, so we uh, get uh, a lot of the stuff and a lot of the uh, kind of descent of Raccoon City. We get some shots of the police station. We get some shots of the, uh, the underground area that they go to. You can clearly see that this is Ada Wong and Leon S. Kennedy. Leon. Uh, then we get some inside of the police station. Grok. I'll tell you what, this is already bringing back such good memories. God, it's a great game. Uh, by the way, Monday coming, I'll be releasing my top 10 video games of the year. These are games that I've personally played. So if I haven't played it and it's a good game, it's not going to be on the list. Also, there will be another Batwoman video on Monday, it's one that I'm already working on, and uh, it's very specific, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy. So, with that said, with that plugging aside, let's move on. So we get all these screams and tensions, and we got uh, Shelley and Claire walking across the uh, walkway there. Uh, stars, uh, again, back into police station and stuff. Uh, I see that, people. Leon uh, walking around doing his thang. This was the orphanage, where we got the orphanage scene from the uh, game. Again, with uh, Shelly. And then it takes us to the underground umbrella base, where everything culminates. And that is Leon. That is Leon. So it, it gets to the time, and then time reverses back to the start of Resident Evil 2, in essence. In essence, because like I said, they are happening at the same time. And we start off with lots of puffing and panting oh, from a young female. <laughs> Works for me every time. And uh, we see somebody charging down a corridor. It appears to be back in the raccoon police station. And it turns out that it's Jill who's being chased by X gone give it to you. Mr. X gone give it to you. So she jumps through some doors, runs through some doors. This first bit is all in first person. That's why it looks like there's fuzzy, fuzzy, weird angles. No matter where she goes, no matter where she, which room she goes into, how she jumps down, goes down, fire escapes in through windows, this, that, and the other, 
X gone, give it to you. She just can't seem to escape from X. And then she runs out into the corridor. You can see that is X. That is not the nemesis. That is X. Uh, so she runs through the door and boom, we go into third person. Because this is uh, going to be obviously over the shoulder third person. And we get our first proper look at Jill Valentine. She looks great. She looks great. It's, um, <laughs> I'm not trying to diss anyone here. I am. But uh, some somebody was saying, whinging to me today about, oh, I hate, I hate remakes. Oh, it's not. This is, this isn't a re, this isn't just a remake. This is a, a PlayStation 1 game, which has been made from the ground up. This ain't Diablo Immortal. Oh, Nettie's are making it for us from the ground up. Basically, it's the same as all their other games. So is the animation. So the controls. So the... This has been made ground up for the PlayStation 4. The current generation of consoles, the Xbox One. This isn't this isn't just some sloppy ass remake. Resident Evil 2 remake made the game better, in my opinion. You know? That's no diss to the 1998 version of the game. That was incredible in its day. In its time. But the version that came out was amazing. It added tension, scares, the whole job lot, all over again, and it was wonderful. So I, I like this. It kind of reminds me her outfit. I'm not just rubbing my hand on a titty. <laughs> I wish. Um, she reminds me of Lara Croft. There's a very, very much a kind of Lara Crofty vibe about her now. So here we get uh, a good look at her when she's sort of calmed down a little bit. <laughs> she was scared. She's calmed down. She's okay now. She's catching her breath. Clearly making us get a good look at the uh, the character model. And it's awesome. Uh, very Lara Crofty. Looks great. So we get a, a, an over-the-top view uh, of Raccoon City because her uh, adventure takes us through various aspects of Raccoon City as well. As I said, happening at the same time as Resident Evil 2. Uh, we hear a discussion about each night more and more. More and more zombies are coming. There's a coming. Now, it's been so long since I played Resident Evil 3. I can't remember a lot of these names. I know there's a Russian guy, and uh, I know obviously there's Carlos Oliveira because he's the main male character in this. But I can't, I can't remember. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Uh, Jill doing some running. We see her outfit now, getting a little bit of a, a look at the modern outfit. So she's got the crisscross bra holster for her weapons of, of mass distraction. Stop it, oi! Male gaze and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. I've been cut. Lots of Brad. This has got to be Brad, the helicopter pilot from Resident Evil Unos. Uh, he does. Yeah, I can remember that he had a little bit to do in the Jill one before he's spoilers killed off, uh, killed off. And then he turns up at the uh, bottom steps of the police station in Resident Evil 2. Uh, and you can you can kill him, but he turns up for a bit in Resident uh, in Jill's Resident Evil Three. So that's Brad. Could see Brad get some time before he gets eviscerated. <laughs> uh, then we've got uh, some other people's. There's Carlos. I think Carlos looks badass. Some people were, had a little bit of a problem with his shaggy hair. I think he just looks badass. I think that's uh, you know you can see the hair on the beard as well, which is. You know, I love these character models. I think these uh, character models look uh, look pretty awesome. You know, he's a mercenary, really, isn't he? He's a mercenary at the end of the day, so it's not as if he's going to get necessarily have a short back and size and all that. Uh, we get some footage from an apartment. Again, and uh, this this looks really cool. I mean, just the water effect looks really kind of good. And she's looking in the mirror. And uh, she starts hallucinating. We get a little bit of gunplay of some zombies out in the street. You see a power station in the background as well. Okie chokey. I'm still trying to, you know, it's been a long time since I played this game. Going down corridor, uh, being chased. And then she's looking into the mirror and she keeps having these uh, little images of her as a zombie. So it's, she's kind of freaked out a bit. Uh, and then Resident Evil 3. And then. We get 
this star's laboratory. And we get uh, more, a little bit more at the end. And then this is clearly the X, which is going to get converted to the Nemesis. And April the 3rd, 2020. It's not far away. It is January, February, March. It's the beginning of April. Three and a half months-ish. Three and a half months away. O-M-G. Yes, please. And then just because we know all about this Resident Evil cooperative game. Boom! Resident Evil 3 also includes the online game Resident Evil Resistance. So it's not even been released as a separate game. It's coming as part of Resident Evil 3. Which sadly means I don't think we're getting mercenaries. Unless it comes at a later date. Because I'd really love a mercenary mode. But yeah, it's actually part of Resident Evil 3. They got us. They got us good. We thought this was going to be the separate game to begin with. Then it was going to be a while until Resident Evil 3 Remake was made. No, this was all part of the Resident Evil 3 experience. Good on them! Uh, so yeah, me excited! Me very excited! Uh, for Resident Evil 3, April 3rd next year. You're goddamn right I'm getting it. Uh, Resident Evil 2 was an awesome experience. I streamed it. We had a load of fun. By a load of fun, I mean you laughed your heads off. I screamed like a little girl. Ah, manly war cries. Manly war cries. So here's to lots of manly war cries next year. Hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links are in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Wink. Bye for now.